Did you know he was in the Marines? No, he wasn't. No, he was in a movie called The Marines. <laughs> yeah, I know, it was a decent movie. Well, maybe. I watched it when I was 12, and I was like, dude, it looks so sick. But yeah, he did look sick. He was also a Marine or some kind of military in um, Bumblebee. Bumblebee. That's right, he was. Did you watch that movie? Yeah, yeah, really I finally good. watched it. it did you watch good. Rise of the Beast? No. Amazing. That I one was it. good, too? Love it. Love, love it. Butterfly. Uh, People didn't like it as much as Bumblebee, but I loved it. Uh, we're going to be male. Uh, we would get... <laughs> Why do we look stoned, by the way? <laughs> what do you mean? You know, we'll look at some different heads here. Don't you want to be male? Yeah, probably. There's only two heads. She's actually not bad. Yeah, I would agree. Okay. That, I would not need to bag her. Are there more heads for dudes? There sure are! Yes, dude! Wow. Okay. Let's, They're um... really not hiding the uh, the preference here. Are, but there's not a single... <laughs> uh, this is an actual genuine question. I don't know. Could a, a girl be in the NHL? No. No, it's like not not I don't mean like she couldn't compete. I mean like legally, like in terms of the rules. Uh I don't know if there are rules necessarily. Um But I know it's more of like a gladiatorial sport. Right? Yeah. And like from and I can't remember this for sure. But I uh Oh shit, but I protect it for sure. Why are we black? Why wouldn't we be black? Is there a problem here? <laughs> I wanted to be Native American. Oh, I'm just sorry. No, they're fresh out. <laughs> and then, I got a really bad joke. And then in the in the middle of the game, you say, "This land used to belong to my people," and you just guilt trip them. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Uh, and then they let you go by. And go, Please, you, we owe you this, right? Your I mean, people it's... ruined this for me. I was gonna do a voice too with that joke, and I decided against it. It's a shame we're not in like the insensitive era where you could do insensitive racial. Uh... I know, dude. Used to be a lot more fun with this stuff, you know. <laughs> it used to be more fun to be racist. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not as fun anymore. I thought you were gonna do the Mighty Ducks jersey. Well, so right now we're a free agent. We have to start the be a pro mode, and I thought that's what I was doing. Right now we're a free Asian. Oh, that was what do you pro? mean by that? Uh, Are uh, most of them not? Uh, for the most part. Um, <clears throat> Wait, wasn't that be a pro mode? Yeah, I was in edit pro that whole time, so that was the problem. But we need oh. to do that anyways. So can you uh, bump our stats up at all? Uh, we have to earn our stats, dude. What? Yeah, dude, this isn't some socialist. Nice, dude. I wish. I don't want to earn my stats. I don't... <laughs> all right, all right. Who do we play for? What do you think? I, whoever you want. I thought you wanted to be Anaheim to get the Mighty Ducks. That's true. We can do that. But you do whatever you want. Like we, there's a different league. Yeah. You could change your league to what? Uh, like the AHL. Why would you do the... that? Well, if you want to be like second rate, you could do that. But wow, we don't want to do that. What? How much does an average AHL player get paid? Twenty thousand dollars a year. At AHL, they're probably in six figures. Well, really? Yeah. In AHL? Yeah. I didn't know anyone cared. There's some in like. Am the... I being an asshole? Not at all. No. Oh. The... <laughs> the league before that. So, if you were going into the league. Um... We'll do the draft. It'll be more fun this way. Horizon Wireless down there. Um, there he is, Uncle Tom. <laughs> they call him Uncle Tom for short. I don't know why. <laughs> His name is Tom Touchy. That's not my fault, man. That's why. <laughs> Tom Touchy. What do you want, huh? Uncle Tom. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what about the league before that? Was that WHL? The women's hockey league? No, no dude. Come them? on. It would never be that. You going up against them? <laughs> it's a... Uh... So, okay, we're gonna play on a little bit easier. Bro, no, we'll play on Pro. Pro refuses to start the game. We're gonna be a little Are bit. We're gonna play? It's gonna be authentic. Yeah, yeah. Great. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, the league before the AHL, which is basically like right before the NHL, they're probably closer to like, I'd say 40 to 60 grand a year is what they're getting. Um, livable. Livable. But then some of them, like, I think in the WHL, um, the there was. Hockey league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does it stand for? Uh, Western. Western. Okay. Western, yeah. Um, they offered, like, like you'd get free schooling, they take care of your schooling and stuff, and it was like a thousand bucks a month. So it's nothing crazy, and things might have changed, but that's the last amount of How would they live, though? A thousand bucks a month is not good. You usually would stay with, like, a, a family. So, like, a family would sign up and then get paid by the team to host you, is essentially how it works. So like, Why would they with... get paid by the team if the team could just pay you more? Uh, no, hey. Don't. What? No, that's a bad question. <laughs> or they could just provide housing. No, no, don't do that. I Come guarantee on. they were making a lot more money off of kind of like college sports were. 
Yeah, probably. Yeah, for sure. So do we need to read this? Yeah, for sure. This is your first step to becoming the next great legend, I am legend, and breaking down the glass ceiling or some shit <laughs> of past greats like Gretzky and Lemu. I don't know. Le- you say Lemu, dude? <laughs> you d- what, dude? How do you say it? Mario Lemu, dude. <laughs> Lemur. Like mute. <laughs> as you progress through your career as a player, you will unlock Vchel Legends, which you can then play as in the all new BA Legend mode. Visit your career performance screen and performance tracker regularly and use performance enhancing drugs. Try to get your friend to pee in the cup for you to avoid getting caught during the draft. It's a very comprehensive intro. Wouldn't that oh, be amazing? Gosh, Can you imagine you if, could... you, if you could do steroids and like all this crazy shit? Like in the game. Yeah, and then you had to get your friend to pee in the thing for you. And you gotta like risk morale and team chemistry for it too. <laughs> so it's like, listen, this is your best friend. You're gonna ask him for this, but he might not look at you the same. You're like, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> you have a twin brother who gave him to pee. So if they run a DNA test, I just took a DNA test. Turns out I'm on drugs. I'm 100 on drugs. <laughs> okay, it's good. let's let's go ahead. How do we how it's, do we go? It's making me go back. I think so. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, that's good. The Prince Albert Raiders have worked hard all year to make the Memorial Cup, and now. The Owen Sound attack stand in our way in the first round. I don't know what that is. We are expecting big things from you in the playoffs, as we know you are heading off in the NHL entry draft shortly. Okay. Play well in the cup, and you can be sure your efforts will be rewarded. Whoa. Make us proud. Is this like the, <laughs> yeah, it's the casting couch. They're going to reward you. It's going to be real nice and sexual. Okay. Listen up, my source tell me that several key franchises are looking for a playmaker to draft. Well, it's a good thing we're a goalie, dude. So, wait, why are we a goalie? Is that just what you wanted to be? Yeah, I chose goalie. But isn't that just sitting there? No, dude, we get shots. We have to make saves. If okay. we suck, we lose, dude. Oh, so are we going to play as a goalie the whole time, or are you going to be someone who like actually moves around and does stuff? Well, come on, man. What do you mean? <laughs> Why would you say it like that? Hey, I just asked. What do you mean? Goalies are... <laughs> well, I'm just saying it's not fun to watch. What do you it's... mean? We're making big saves here. All right, okay. All we'll right. give it a shot. If it's not fun, we'll switch to a forward. All right, okay. It just seems like everybody would want to be a forward, and people who play goalie, especially in high school, are just lame. Hey, come on, man. Whoa, man. Hey. Just saying. <laughs> Wait, I think I chose goalie. Nope, we're center. Never mind. Nice, that's better. Uncle Touchy's that's on the first fun. line. Do you want to play? No, no, no. Oh, I want, I want to watch you play. I'll, I'll try it, but like, remember they said you had to do good here. No, oh, right. And right, that's right. the problem is I would not do good. Well, it's to the pros. No one will care. Plus, we'll be meeting a diversity quota, and people will be good for yeah, us. Yeah, they there. can't kick us off the team. No, they can't. They're like, they they're can't. like Touchy, you're not doing very good. Dude, the guy who left his name was Fiddler. Fiddler and Touchy are on the same oh, line. We are going dude. to literally <laughs> bend over that team. <laughs> No, dude. That like, was the right winger. It was bend over. <laughs> Look at Touchy and Fiddler. <laughs> and out there. The other team is clenching their booty cheeks right now, like, as tight as possible. Like, oh, the no. other team is wearing butt plugs <laughs> so that they can't get penetrated. To brace for impact. Yeah. Touchy and Fiddler. The Touchy Fiddler line. All right. I had a question for you that this might be a main channel video. We'll yeah. see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to know. And this is just, you know, obviously we're moving into the DC cinematic universe. Oh, right? yeah. Good pivot. Moving okay. into that. And James Gunn out here, you know, waving his guns around, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Making these movies, Superman Legacy or whatever, all this stuff. Which is filming right now, right? Yeah, I yeah. think, uh, you know, and it's going to come out around the same time as Fantastic Four. Did you know that? Oh, really? Yeah. Another movie that I'm hopeful for. Although Pedro Pascal as, as Mr. Fantastic, great actor. That doesn't fit for me, but we'll see. I guess we'll see. Yeah. Now, is that race related or what's up with that? Why would you say he doesn't fit? What race is he? I have no idea. <laughs> he's just, I think he's part Latino, but I don't know anything other than that. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, I, I think... I assume I that because of the name Pedro and I'm racist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he's... Uh, I think he's... I mean, him in Last of Us, he's incredible. Him and Last of Us? What, <laughs> Jonathan, Last of Jonathan Last of Us? Yeah, the other him. actor with him? <laughs> yeah, Pedro Pascal and, and Jonathan in Last of Us. It was crazy. It was that very was immersive. really hot. So I guess my question I was going to ask you... And this will probably be in our Let's Play of NHL as well over on Degenerate Plays. So if you're not watching that here and you're on the main channel, the link is in the description. Trying to grow that channel. Nobody's watching it. What's wrong with you? Hey, but anyway, we'd love to see you there. Yes. T, you're not on this channel super often now because you're very busy. But my question for you was, I want to talk about five characters we would want to see return from the DCEU. If they ever do anything like bring back that universe in some way... If they ever do like a multiverse crossover where, you know, obviously DC is big on multiverse, just like Marvel is, where you got like this, you know, reality, you got this reality, sometimes they can cross over. Yeah. Yeah. Now with this question, I understand there comes baggage because 
you have actors who actively don't want to work in the DCEU anymore, so I guess you have to take that into account. You have people who had very bad experiences there. You had people who got completely shafted by Warner Bros. And also you have a fan base who is either... Like, some people are so pro-DCEU and Snyderverse and stuff that they were very mean-spirited about anything else. And there were some people so against it that they were mean-spirited. Like, the people attacking Autumn Snyder and stuff, you know, when she yeah, died. Yeah. Like, either end of that extreme is, we don't like those people, I would say. And right, like, how they behave. Be, for sure. So we're looking at it from the, from the standpoint of being fans of these characters. And I wanted to start with one. We can each have five, and if they cross over, that's fine. Love it. My first one is Pierce Brosnan's Doctor Fate. Oh, yeah, that's a great one. Because he was so good. You know, he met with spiritual leaders, actually, in order to, like, find out, like, not how spiritual people act, but, like, how these kind of, you know, more um, religious and more, like, peaceful people, like, view the world. And, like, he kind of internalized that and, and then externalized it in the role. Uh, he played, like, a seasoned superhero so well. I bought the entire thing with the helmet, you know, and and just the way they did that in Black Adam. I thought Pierce Brosnan was incredible. To me, he's actually one of the ones I'm most disappointed we won't see. And I thought he was, in his brief appearance there, I thought he was just as interesting as Doctor Strange, the way they played Doctor Fate. And to be honest with you, he kind of, in my opinion, he stole the movie. Like, he was, listen, The Rock as Black Adam was, was fine, um... Do I think that he, like, was amazing, though? No. Like, he was just You're kind talking of, about The Rock, right? Yeah, yeah. The Rock was just like, eh, he's fine. Um, and I did like him. Yeah. He's not on my list, though, I will say. No, no. He wasn't bad. And I wouldn't have minded seeing him again, especially with the teaser at the end of that movie. But going back to Pierce Brosnan, he was so good, man. And he was very, like you said, like, the, the approach that he took, especially when I was, when I saw him, really the only on-screen appearance that I'm aware of or that I had seen prior was in the DCAU. And for Dr. Fate. Yes, for Dr. Yeah. Fate. I thought you meant for Pierce Brosnan. I was like, wait, he was in the DCAU. He was in the DCAU, I'm just, yeah. I'm just too distracted, I guess. No, Sorry. no, no. And uh, and with that, like, I that Dr. Fate was very calm and calculating, but did have some, like, angry, tense moments, and you see him a bit more defensive. This was a more, like, very calm, wise, calculated, kind of like an old man fate is what it felt like. Yeah, like at the end of his career. Yes. And I felt like we could have seen him again. You know? Absolutely. A hundred percent. And I thought that he was like very, um, like just kind of, especially being around the, the, the group that he was around that was younger, could really, you could see that more too yes. in that wisdom being imparted. And I um, I thought the, the scenes that he were in, the action scenes were really well done. Absolutely. I would love to see him in there again. Yeah, I, I think he was great. I think his, his costume, by the way, his costume design was great. Yes. I, I loved it. And I loved the helmet. I loved everything they did. I loved the effects they did for his magic. It felt like it was Doctor strange E, which someone's going to say, well, Doctor Fate was around first. I don't remember who was around first. I don't care. My point is just like <laughs> yeah, they yeah. didn't, they did like a magic way speaking of this do you like this camera is this like a different camera yeah it's like the be a pro camera is it is it good i it's like confusing. it actually yeah it's a little bit different i might switch out of it well uh, you do whatever you want i just yeah. didn't know if they forced you to do this camera or if it was different for this mode i think you can switch it if i remember right okay. i was gonna say in a last thought though for dr fate like to me like you said he felt like that seasoned superhero and they did the special effects of his magic in a way where it felt dr strange like where it's like showing this magic and visual effects on screen but it didn't feel like they were ripping off the way dr strange had done it before that because dr strange had been in multiple films before that, you know, with things like uh, Infinity War, Doctor Strange, the film. And then later on, he got his sequel and stuff, too. But yes. it didn't feel like they were just looking at Doctor Fate and saying, hey, how do we rip that off? Which I, I honestly am impressed at that, that it felt unique. Yes. It's kind of what I, what I thought. Especially in the final battle. It was insanely cool. I agree. 100%. 100%. They, they nailed the action in that movie. Um and he was, in, in my opinion, I thought that he was the best character of that movie, too. In oh, my opinion, I, I thought he was the best. I loved him. Do you have any that, you know, that was one of mine. And I might I might cut this down and have more of our discussion in the Let's Play, because it might be a little longer. No, sh um, one that is coming to mind, and listen, this might be a little bit of a, a weird one. Ooh. Um, in comparison to what we've, like, I think, what I think of initially, but this is what came to mind. Dark side, 
we really that did... dark side or just a dark side? I mean, th that dark side would have been... I liked how he looked, yeah. especially in the Snyder Cut. I thought he looked really, really cool. Um, not saying that he was be like the peak one, but just one that comes to mind that I think is a little bit different is dark side. Like, we, we haven't really seen... I think of, like, DCAU once again is kind of my, my standard, and I think of that dark side and how cool he was in the animated series and how there was a lot of really... Really cool things. And then building up to that with Steppenwolf uh, and all the things that led into um, the the Snyder Cut with Darkseid. I thought that he looked and they built him up really well. And the fact that we didn't get to see that come to fruition is a really big bummer. Yeah, um, I think we both really liked the DCEU. I really wished that they had, I don't know, at least continued it in like an animated form. You yeah. know, like maybe given a couple animated films to Zack Snyder and then they could have closed that universe off. I know a lot of the people who were hardcore and like angry about it wouldn't have been satisfied with it, but it would have satisfied me because I just wanted to see those characters get a complete story. Yes. Um, I agree. That dark side was very cool. It's hard for me to... It's your list. It's hard for me to put him on a list, though, because we only just saw him. He didn't really do anything. He had, like, a couple of lines to Steppenwolf, and then he, like, was in the background. Right, right. But in terms of, like, a narrative, it was a bummer to tease him and not see that. Yes. I agree. And, and that's and maybe that's more so of what my lean was, is, like, what could have been. And uh -huh. that's why I think seeing him show up again is what, is what comes to mind, because, like, we didn't get to see what that could have been. And it was just kind of a... He's behind the scenes, he's um, working with the sod, and Steppenwolf is clearly trying to get back in his good graces. Like, I liked what they did with that, but it just felt like, okay, we set all this up, now what? Now it's just done. And now we don't get to see what that would have been. We don't really get to see Superman and him go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, which is always awesome. So I just... Well, that leads to the next one that you brought up, Superman. Yeah. Henry Cavill. I mean, this is one we would both want. Uh, I'm fine with... Um, it's David Cornsweet, right? Or is it Cornsweet? I don't know how to say his name. You know who's playing him now? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Superman? I, I don't know the pronunciation. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we haven't seen him at this point. I got nothing against him. And I want him to succeed and be a great Superman. My point isn't that I want Henry Cavill and not him. Yeah. That's not my point. Yeah. My point is just if you did a multiverse thing, I would love to see Cavill come back because he did care about the character. I will say this. A lot of people say, well, he was a darker version of Superman. You know, this and that. I agree with you. However, did you know he wanted to be a more hopeful version? He had even said in a sequel he'd want it to be more hopeful. Um, and I do think that there was hope in there, too. Like, it, I, I thought in some ways it was him, over time, still becoming a hopeful Superman, but he was still darker. Um, but I thought that, you know, he kind of got the short end of the stick from WB. You can think whatever you want about his character adaptation. That had nothing to do with how he played it. He is a big Superman fan. He wanted Superman to succeed. He wanted a sequel that was a little bit more Man of Tomorrow, Hopey, and not as much um, dark stuff going on. And uh, I liked the way that it was, but I would have loved to have seen him come back and get that version of Superman that he wanted, of like a more hopeful, looking to the future Superman, you know, in an established relationship with Lois Lane, uh, you know, on the Justice League. All that kind of stuff, because I feel like we got so much dark buildup to it, which I still like, but we didn't get to see that comic book Superman of, like, hopeful, you know, like he would literally save a cat from a tree, he would stop a school bus from crashing type guy, but he'd also go fight an alien invasion type guy. Right. We kind of just got the world-ending threat version of Superman. And even in Man of Steel, when he is very, I think it was his very first scene... It's him showing up, and a lot of that movie is about him, like, just not being accepted and mm -hmm. kind of just feeling like an outsider that whole time. And I think it's an important part of Superman, and it's something that's definitely worth diving into. And I love Man of Steel. But I think there was, because of that, there was less of that, like, positive, cheery Superman that comes to mind. It was more of a, like, kind of a brooding, the world is against me, and it has been ever since the beginning. Um, lost my, my dad, who was the only one who kind of got it. Uh, and now, like, I just have to try to help these people, I guess, because right. that's the right thing to do. And so, I just think, like, the basis of his character was less of that, like, chippy, fun Superman. It was more of a, like, hey, like, the world has not been good to me, uh, but I'm still going to try to be good to the world. So, it's like a different kind of hopeful, I guess, but um, I would agree. I think that he is, he was so good as the character. Once again, in Black Adam, 
teased. You know, there is a, there's an appearance there. And I think that that fight with Black Adam would have been really fun. I think there's a lot of things that they could have done still with him. Um, even rounding out, once again, the story with Darkseid and what that looks like. But Henry Cavill clearly cared about that character. Loved playing it. It's kind of just a bummer again that it might not be happening. Or is not happening moving forward. So. No, and I wish... <clears throat> I don't know. With, with how they tease the multiverse, I wish we could get both. You know, like, yeah. I... I, I never want the new versions to fail. You know, like, for me, when I watch Spider-Man, when I watch Spider-Man No Way Home, you know what I was thinking? I would love to see another Tom movie, but I'd also love to see a movie with Andrew and a movie with Toby. I wasn't thinking, well, now only one person can be Spider-Man. Yeah. I just don't think that way. That's not the superhero and, world we're in now. It's no, a lot different. And I don't think it ever had to be. Um, and, you know, even for me, like, if they did a Tobey Maguire animated film, I'd love that. You know how much I'd love that? It didn't even have to be live action. I'd love that. Uh, so... You know, for me, I'm very open to, like, all these versions of the characters, as long as the writing is good. And I think a problem with the the DCEU, and Snyder gets blamed for it, is that he was pushed by WB to push towards Justice League so quickly, you know, because they wanted to catch up with Avengers. Yeah. And yeah. I do think it's unfair that he did what he was told and he gets blamed for it. Now, if you want to blame him for something, I'd blame him for the fact that there's no way he's not aware of how asshole some of his fans are and he never says hey guys settle down yeah that's what i would blame him for sure um because sure. like you know i i don't like he's not responsible for it but it's something that i do see all the time where you'll have like these people like i saw a guy who basically made a meme of um and pretended he didn't i believe that's at least my opinion of how it was he wouldn't admit he did it but he basically made a meme about um why am i blanking right now Oh, he made a meme about Superman, and it was about the original Superman actor, Christopher Reeve. And it was basically the meme where it's Ryan Reynolds, and he's standing next to, um, he's standing next to the corpse of Wolverine. And it was like a joke, but he was saying like, oh, look, this is James Gunn and DC digging up like the memory of um, of Christopher Reeve to like make a documentary about him. Oh, and it's like, and dude. it was pretty obvious he was pushing this narrative because he's like a big Snyder fan and he just um, doesn't want to like accept the new stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and like to me that was kind of like uh, you know like that's that's the kind of thing that not like not a very tasteful especially when it's going viral and everyone's seeing it it's like and Zack Snyder's on social media all the time uh, like that would be something where I'd say maybe he should be calling that kind of shit out you know what I mean yes and saying yeah. like hey this is not cool and still uh, to I guess a little bit of defend obviously there's only so much that he can do and control but at the same time I do know what you're saying like that's not cool uh, yeah, man, I think, and the thing is, is like, he was not only rushed into that, but even like Batman vs. Superman was kind of a, f I mean, that was really quick to move into that. They didn't even establish Batman yet. Like, he wasn't, that was his movie, kind of, but like, yeah, it was it, kind of a Batman and Superman movie. I would not want to see Ben Affleck back. I think he's done. I would agree. Yeah. I liked him, by the way. I, dude, his scene in the warehouse is one of, I would argue it's top three greatest Batman combat things I've ever seen. I mean, especially live action, it might be number one. It was so cool. And it blew Matt. the cinematography, like the fight cinematography of something like um, the Dark Knight movies out of the water. Oh my, with the combat? I, I, yeah. No, I'm not talking about writing. <laughs> like, yeah. like writing, yeah, yeah, there's a different close. story. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but I'm talking about like combat and stuff. It was like watching, uh, like literally, it was like, we might as well just throw some counter icons over this guy's head. This is <laughs> Arkham Batman. It's unbelievable. It yeah. Like. And some of the, I mean, it was just not, it was just very Snyder-esque, which was very cool. But, yeah. uh, but no, I would agree. 